everyone. Welcome to the Cam channel. This is Xue Hang. Before I start, I would like to say Happy New Year and wish you all have fruitful 2023. Today, I will present an in-situ technique that can observe lithium ions move in an electrode, the neutron depth profiling. In our neutron reactor in the Delft Reactor Institute, we have a neutron beam line dedicated for the neutron depth profiling. When the neutrons come out from the reactor, it will hit the in-situ electrochemical cell that is connected to a charger. The cell is made with alumina as current collector, lithium ion phosphate and lithium metal as two electrodes and the organic electrolyte. The lithium ion phosphate here is the electrode that we are going to observe in situ. When the lithium-6 captures a neutron, it will release a helium nuclei and a tritium. Both elements have very high kinetic energy, especially the tritium can easily leave the electrode and the cell. After the tritium leaves the electrode, the detector can measure the kinetic energy of the tritium. Then, by comparing the original energy of tritium, we can determine how deep inside our electrode contains lithium or where the lithium locates in the depth direction. Here shows an example when the electrode is charging and discharging very slowly. The electrode is made of 80% of LFP, 10% of carbon black, and 10% of binder. The relative lithium concentration in the LFP is measured as a function of the depth. When the voltage increases from 2.8 to 4.2, the lithium concentration decreases gradually. And when the voltage decreases again, the lithium ion concentration increases. Then the lithium ion concentration is plotted as a function of time and the depth in the curve. Red means high lithium concentration and blue means low concentration. Over the electrode depth, the change of the lithium ion concentration is even or almost depth independent. It means that all grains charge and discharge at the same time. Then the technique is used to observe the impact of particle size on the lithium ion insertion process. There are two situations. Electrode one with larger particle loaded near the current collector. And the electrode two with smaller particle loaded near the current collector. Then we applied the in-situ neutron depth profiling with the two electrodes. Which particle will react first? The data is collected again. And the final pattern is given here. It is clear that the larger particle close to the aluminum current collector loses lithium slower when voltage increases and gains lithium also slower when voltage decreases again. It means that larger particles near the current collectors charge more slowly than the smaller particles close to the electrolyte. For the second situation, the experiment is performed again on the electrode too. The result shows that the smaller particle close to the current collector lose lithium faster when voltage increases and gains the lithium faster when voltage decreases. So no matter where the small particles are, they always charge and discharge faster than the larger particles. I'm back to work again. The ECAM channel is almost three years old now and thank you all for your support. In 2023, we will continue making ECAM videos for you. The video in our ECAM channel are only for educational purposes and knowledge sharing. Please subscribe, share, and like our videos to support our channel. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.